Welcome to Mathematics Room. Asa Benny sir will join us shortly. Okay, I'll share my screen and show you. Good afternoon, ma'am. Shall I start? Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. You can start. Sir, uh, we can wait for some, uh, two minutes. Some party, uh, some participants are also joining. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Now my screen is visible, no? Yes, sir. Hello, my screen is visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, you are visible, sir. Yes, yes, so. Okay, shall I continue? Yes, sir, you can continue, sir. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Actually, there are many specific tools for the subject of mathematics. But here, I am dealing with the GeoGebra. Actually, GeoGebra, the word stands for Geometry and Algebra together. So let us be familiar with this software. GeoGebra is an interactive geometry, algebra, statistics, and a calculus application. This is a Java-based dynamic platform. And it is free tool. So we can easily download it without any price. And we can utilize it. And we will come to see the other aspect of this wonderful software, GeoGebra. And in my humble opinion, this is the most commonly used software for mathematics applet worldwide. So who is the creator of this Java-based dynamic platform? The credit goes to Marcus Hohenwarter. He started his project in 2001 as a part of his master's thesis at the University of Salzburg. So, he started the project in 2001 and many others came to contribute. So many new, new versions came. Now version 5 and version 6 are available. And what are the advantages? In fact, mathematics seems to be a dull subject for many of the learners. The reason is it's an abstractness. So if we reduce that abstractness up to a great degree by visualizing the concepts, then the things will be very clear and the learning will be a pleasant atmosphere. So GeoGebra makes learning an abstract concept much more meaningful. It can visualize the related concepts and it can connect the things. We can see the relationships of the parameters. It allows everyone equal access. I told you it is a free tool. So very easily without any price, we can download it and we can utilize. We can start practicing and we can download more than 1 million applets. You see how many did I tell you? Not 1 or 2 or 1000. More than 1 million applets created by many scholars worldwide. We can download it. We can modify it. We can, but don't distribute it commercially. That's all. We can freely use it, utilize it. Okay. 
So I hope some of you are familiar with this tool. I will come to the demonstration later on after a few points theoretically. So anyone can use this tool to create a appellates. So conceptual understanding will be promoted. Then how to download as I told you, we have to go to GeoGebra website that is www.geogebra.org. Then from that there is a title you can see download. So from that download, we can download the version 5.1 or version 6 classic that you can do. Then there are six views of this GeoGebra. What we can say according to the purpose. That is whether we want to utilize it for a calculation purpose only or whether it is for a graphical purpose only, whether it is for a 3D version only like that. So there are six versions. You can see which are the versions. First one is a algebra view. Second is a graphics view. Third one is a spreadsheet view. And the fourth one is the CIS view. What does CIS mean? That is CIS stands for computer algebra system then 3d graphics view then probability calculator view so in this six ways we can use side by side also means 2d and 3d side by side cars and algebra side by side that we can do okay now i'm not prolonging the uh, history of a geogebra as i told you it is started by the great mathematician Marcus Hohenwater and now it got uh, translated into more than 35 languages you can see and since 2006 GeoGebra is supported by the Austrian Ministry of Education so you see that this wonderful software that is made free of cost for the teaching learning community of mathematics worldwide by this Austrian Ministry of Education. And in 2006, the US also joined to develop further components of this GeoGebra. Now, as I told you, over 1 million free applets we can download from GeoGebra. How to do it? Go to the website as I told you, www.geogebra.org, then materials, or directly you type in classroom resources GeoGebra. Google will find it for you. Then from that, you can see various subjects, various topics, whether it is for uh, even physics, we can get it. For mathematics also, various branches, trigonometry, algebra, everything we can. So then we can embed also this GeoGebra to HTML. We will come to that. And now I will demonstrate some aspects of GeoGebra. Before that, I must tell you, uh, as I told you myself, Benny Varghese, I am working as now research and publication officer, NLI Goa. NLI means Navodaya Leadership Institute. My all projects, uh, nearly 50 now I have uploaded uh, in this website. That is, you type in Google NLI Goa. NLI means Navodaya Leadership Institute, a teacher training institute for Navodaya schools. And in our web portal, uh, nearly 50 applets and now you can see. Uh, then in due course of time, I will update the same. Okay. So, now, before proceeding further, I will tell you how to proceed with the GeoGebra. You can see that just type in GeoGebra like this. I think it is visible, no? Am I visible? Yes, sir. Say you are visible, okay. sir. Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. okay, thank you, yes, thank you. Then just to type in like this, you see GeoGebra, the world's favorite free max tools used by over millions or something, whatever is there. Now you can see uh, graphing calculator is there, download GeoGebra apps, geometry version, GeoGebra classic version, everything is there. Just you click it, 
now there is a sign in option otherwise you have to sign up for first whenever you are using a software you know uh, we have to sign up but uh, in my case i have already done it so that is a sign in version you can okay now what about uh, this software you can see after downloading that 50 mb this is not a huge size of software it will not uh, eat up your uh, ram of your computer or rom whatever is so geogebra hardly will take 50 50 embs only then after installing you will get an icon like this i think you can watch on my screen it is like this then just click it then it will open like this okay now this is the platform perchance you may wonder there is nothing no apple store nothing okay that we have to start here only one uh, a pair of access means x axis y axis alone and some tools are there so in the beginning when i started using this geogebra uh, near to 2004 that time i was using version 4 i have been continuously using that software and developed nearly 200 applets till now i will come to that now you can see there are certain uh, icons here this is a move graphics view what it will happen you see just click it then you can like this you can move the total page like this for that one this move tool now there you can see you have to click it here that another move is there you may see here is also there but here there is a move tool but this is for doing now you can see that when i click it then you see the screen is not scrolling here and there this is for doing any animation then that should be there i will make it clear you please see just click the second one there there is a point and this is a self explanatory tool for example now you can see that blue colored highlight icon that is point now you need not recollect it just bring the mouse point over it mouse over function what we can say you can see that is a point then how to utilize it that also clear click on the graphics view or online function or curve just now you click it you please see you see a point came and side by side there is an algebra pan that you can close if you don't want it and if you want to see you can bring it how please click it like this once again please if you don't want that algebra pan just close it like this otherwise if you just go to view and then algebra then you can do and here this view is very important suppose you want two screens side by side that also possible now graphics two you click and you can scroll it like this if you want now you can see two screens are there and if you don't want it you close it then if you want a 3d version side by side that also you can do now you see that's a 3d version and uh, really it is 3d uh, we will come to that okay then you can see that many icons are there i don't think this is the time to teach you all these uh, icons because one and a half hour will not be sufficient to learn all these tools instead my intention is to show you the scope of this wonderful software i will demonstrate some of the applets i made so that it will ignite your minds and if you want to learn you can download the manual for geogebra from the website that is free of cost each and every tool we can get with the explanation then you start practice it then you can go to the advanced level gradually 
so here very simple things are there for example suppose you want to uh, have uh, one more point suppose you see another point now what the two points a and b are there now we can join these two points a and b with the line segment you see how i am going go to this tool then there is a drop down icon that's a triangle just a click it then take segment then click this one and this one you see we got the line segment not only that the length also we can get it 2.35 but here you may see only name only so just a right click and then go to the object property one second please then i told you see it is disturbing our demonstration why because the icon is not on the move tool so that i told you before going to the properties or doing any animation you should click the first move then you see now no disturbance i think it is clear okay now this point i don't want just to delete it i don't want this point also we can delete it there are two ways for example suppose this is a point if i want it but i don't want to show it so if i want it but i don't want to show it then you just right click and there is a show object just click it now you see c is there c is there i didn't delete and if you want to bring it back just click that one you can see here the buttons are in blue color but here for c that is white color means it is not showing just click it you see please observe the screen see that it is coming and going as i click on the algebra pen against the bullet for c okay so now suppose i am taking two point like this i want to join them by a line then just a, and again i told you these tools are self explanatory just with the patience and spending time definitely one can master it this is a very simple software but uh, patience and practice very very important now you can see what this tool this highlighted tool stands for just bring the mouse over it select two points so the explanation is there itself select two points so just select this one and this one you see there's a line now i don't want it then right click and delete right click and delete then points are left now uh, otherwise you can highlight you can see that you see like this what i am doing then a rectangle came and then just delete on the keyboard all the objects will be gone except see because he is uh, uh, hidden form no so you have to bring it then again you see what i am doing just a delete now again we are in the final screen and um, suppose there is a line for example direct also we can do it you see a line and now i want a perpendicular line you see there is a perpendicular line the second command one second please see perpendicular line now how to proceed with it? then you go to the mouse over function select a point and a perpendicular line then i am selecting a point b itself and the line now what happens i got a line which is perpendicular to the previous line passing through b that's all and i can change that position of b i told you you have to go to this move button the very beginning first button then we can do it like this you can see i am changing the things like this so so many things are uh, hidden with uh, this icon these toolbars these toolbar is uh, helping us to do the magic with the uh, geogebra okay okay uh, so without uh, prolonging my demonstration how to practice with the geogebra you can start like this if you are a beginning 
and if you know the tools then you can continue now you can see there is a polygon icon just click it then just click here then click here click here then click here you know polygon means a closed figure so i have to come back to the beginning point like this now you see that's a polygon icon now just a right click it go to the object properties then go to the color we can choose the any color as you like for example i am taking this green color now opacity is this much that you can change if, if you want like this side by side you can see what is happening you see please see what is happening see the thing am i clear i hope it is clear uh, you can see that if you want only the outline you keep it here otherwise you increase gradually like this okay okay that all the magic we can do and you can see another one is the regular polygon regular polygon means you know polygon having all the sides are equal so here just click one side over which is what one side ef ef that will be continued that, that will be completed don't worry then how many vertices you want by default four is shown if i took it uh, just uh, click it okay you see that is square a four sided regular polygon is square that's all once again please just click that regular polygon option click it now let me choose one side here like this now four i told you automatic suppose i am typing it uh, changing to seven so a yes, septagon will be there i think it is clear then suppose i am clicking it one side i have to provide then 12 then it will be 12 sided polygon and we can change it like this you see you can place it here if you want we can bring this also here this all thing we can do okay okay now angle command is there circle is there so suppose i want to get a fresh screen then there is a button new then they will ask whether the previous work we need to save or not so we don't want to save it just to click it don't save so everything is fresh then you can see click the circle then there is a command all this command i cannot explain i told you only to show you some tools so you can see there is a second one circle with the center and the radius just to click this is our center then radius suppose five then just to enter it we are getting a circle like this then again you can see click it i want another circle centered at a only but this time with the radius three just to click it like this okay 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 so so many things we can do then again i will go to the new and then you can see there is an angle button here that is angle tool so how to do is just click it click it and click it now you see the angle is there and the measurement is also shown automatically and we have to complete it with the ray that's the vector or ray you can you can take a ray or vector that will be very interesting vector you can use just like this this is the one arm and here it is like this you see we got an angle now we can change the measurement of the angle like this you can see the demonstration just to drag it that's all using the mouse just to drag this point or this point that we can do okay okay so i will show you something else suppose i am making a slider option I told you, you know many icons are there here don't think that one two three four or uh, this many icons are there no no uh, here you can see just click it so these many icons here you can see these many icons here you can see this many icons here you can this many here you can see several icons here you can see this many icons several icons like this many many icons are there okay okay now uh, there is a slider just click it then you click it here on the pan then number we want to take or angle this i am going to take angle 
then 0 degree to 360 degree or we can restrict as you like i am restricting to say 180 nothing like that is my uh, pleasing so you can see that here it is one degree increment i am going to give instead of five five degree one increment then just apply it so a slider is ready what the slider will do you can change it like this you can see zero degree to 180 degree it can span with increment one degree 15 16 17 18 like this okay now what else i can do you see go to the angle and angle with the given size just click it now when i click the two points it will ask the measurement for the angle so here just by, uh, by default 45 degrees there you can see it just go back then there is an alpha button there you can see that's a tool button just click it once again please what i am doing i will demonstrate once again please one minute go to the angle command i am restarting go to the angle command just to make it clear that's all so in the beginning if you are a beginner it may be a problematic but in future in, if you are continuing or practice it will be very simple uh, so just uh, go to the angle with the given size just to click it very fast then like this then just highlight it and backspace then go to the alpha button and you can see our slider is showing with the alpha not beta so just click alpha then okay now what will happen you know when we will change when we will change this slider i can complete the angle first of all like this and only it will be perfect now so using the vector i am doing it like this then to decorate it a little bit i will go to the angle object properties click to the color make it fully red color then it will be like this now you see uh, here this amps also you can do the same way suppose you are going to this amp then style of this line thickness seven color i am keeping this one just uh, you see the thing what happened then you just click this branch this arm also that is again same color that will be nice no otherwise you can change then i am keeping the size here seven now you see now what will happen you know just i will change it see the thing acute angle we can show then 90 degree you can just in 90 degree you come to that you see it's a very perfect 90 degree so 90 degree angle then again if you proceed that will be obtuse angle then straight angle i restricted otherwise the reflex angle etc can be shown here so this is a very small animation that i, I did for you okay now i will demonstrate some of the uh, as i told you i'm sorry i can't explain all these tools it will be in another platform only here i i am not in a position and using this one and a half hour uh, duration to explain all these tools many magics are there so i think i can show you the scope of geogebra this wonderful uh, java based dynamic platform i made many projects and some of you let me present for you so okay the first one one by one we will go the first one very fast i will demonstrate here that is uh, i told you nowadays just to animate whatever is in the textbook no in mathematics actually interest should be created in number theory many magics are there so in the beginning of a class we can give something like this so we will ask the student to keep somebody's age age can be from 1 to 127 then we will give the start then what will happen one board will come in which there will be some numbers 1 3 5 7 9 suppose i am keeping in mind 27 i am disclosing the number just for demonstration 27 it is there so i will click it then here also 27 is there if 27 my number is there then i have to click here i need not say 27 
I am telling you just for the demonstration purpose. Then here 27 is not there. You see 23, 28. So 27 is not there. I need not click to here. Then you can see automatically it will come. Otherwise, uh, you can use this slider also. Then 27 is here. Just to click it. Wherever 27 is there, I have to click it. It will go automatically. Auto set function I have made here. Then another 27 is here. So I have to click it. Card number 5. Now card number 6 and 7 will come. Two more cards. So card number 6. No 27. 32 is the minimum number. Then last card. 7 card. We are waiting for the next card. Seven, no. Then you can see automatically the number will be depicted. Okay, number will be there. Time is giving just for clicking. You see 27. I think uh, such a wonders we can do using GeoGebra. So this is what uh, the name I put is a edge box. Uh, so seven cards will be displayed. And if the num uh, age is there on a particular card, the student or the um, player has to click it. Then finally, automatically uh, that will be there. Then again, in order to start a refresh is there, then just start. And this time uh, we can do manually also if you want. How it is? You can stop it uh, animation here. Then you can see according to your speed, you can change everything you see. No card, we didn't click any card means zero. So we are not clicking anything. You see that? A card two. Then if you don't want to waste the time, then card three, card four, card five, card six, card seven, like this. Okay, okay. Uh, then, uh, hello, am I, uh, my screen viewable now? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought something happened. Okay, okay. Now, amazing parameter function that will go to plus two level parametric 11th class or 12th class parametric function. Here I am taking a little bit a harder parameter function. You need not be scared with uh, this uh, X uh, and Y the function like this just for curiosity. Uh, then uh, here X graph that is red graph that is for this function. It's uh, not in our uh, um, plus two syllabus. It is beyond the syllabus. Then a blue line is there for the y graph. That is y is a function in t. That is why y and t plotted that is blue line and x equal to a function of t. So that is here. Then when we just start animation, what will happen? We are taking this x and y together into another plane. That is called a Cartesian plane means these two graphs we are blending to get into a single function direct connectivity between x and y that is what is called a parameter function now you can see a very wonderful sketch is being there not a circle not a line that we frequently use in our mathematics classroom here it will be very interesting a butterfly shape is drawing i think my demonstration is clear um, so this is a little bit a high level application of a geogebra Parametric function. We will come to plus two syllabus later on in parametric. That is a circle, ellipse, etc. But here it is a, a little bit uh, advanced level. Uh, so this function we are not using, but uh, for the um, curiosity of this uh, graph, what we can say, charming of the graph, one should say, butterfly model. It is not over. It will decorate further and further, but not on the same line. It will, you see, but... Uh, Time limit is also there. So like this, it is a drawing and very beautifully it will complete. Nearly 10 minutes, I think, it will take to complete. Okay. Um, so I told you, um, all these applets you can view in the web portal, as I told you. We are doing it for Navodaya teachers and others also can join from the nation or uh, world um, all these applets uh, you can see again in the web portal nli goa in there there is a training materials shall i show it one minute please 
you type it n like gova like this n like gova please note down if you want to see n like gova then form n like gova just click it like this okay now there is a tab training in the training tab you go to resource material i think it is viewable just click it resource material now you can see all this up up all the applets are here you see 12th max application or derivatives volume or largest box 12th max continuity find a and b like the several applications till now i uploaded nearly 52 i think and it will be continuing so and then how to do it you can see the last there is a pdf icon actually it is not pdf you just click it like this then it will be downloaded for you then you open it then now there is a limitation in our web portal that is why it is not opening directly how to operate it as i told you go to the last icon that is a pdf icon only and uh, then just click it is not pdf uh, that's a limitation of the website uh, we are modifying it it will take time so meanwhile uh, we, we need not wait just click it and then we can okay then uh, this uh, one application as i told you we will go to the another one that is a angle between a plane and a line that is a three dimension applet 3d also as i told you now you see where is the 3d nothing like that yes it is there just a rotate then you can see it i don't know due to net connectivity how it seems uh, for uh, how it seems to be on your screen uh, but it is a 3d version only and uh, by manually also we can change stop rotation button is there manually also you see i am just manually changing it i don't know whether it is uh, disturbing your viewing so like this then you can see how what is the angle between a line and a plane can be explained very nicely by a max teacher to the plus 2 students it is there in the syllabus okay now we will go to the another one that is uh, angle sum in triangle and quadrilateral angle sum in triangle and quadrilateral means now it is a quadrilateral it is not a static quadrilateral you can change the vertices like this you see i can drag it like this keep it there or you can drag this one that's a full freedom is given you see that is why i like this software very much full freedom it is not that a, a particular uh, quadrilateral teacher has drawn the student may be notion that oh it will be working only with that uh, particular quadrilateral it will not work with uh, any other quadrilateral it is not like that we can change the shape like this now what to do you see just four angles are shown colored angle no that uh, orange color yellow green and pink now there are some slides are provided you drag the first slide like this you see no practice needed to operate this one once it is made so just do it like this okay then you drag the next slide you see what is happening it is coming and then drag the third slide then what happened you see all the colored angles put together to form a circle means 360 degrees once again please how to go back there are two ways either you click here this uh, web portal resource uh, this uh, what we can say restart or refresh button is there you can see that a curved arrow like this otherwise just a re restart button just click it you see everything is set right then once again please see what is happening just draw it like this the first one my purpose is to put together to bring together all these angles say yellow green pink and orange at the same place okay how to do it just drag it like this then uh, instructions are given here you can read also if you want then you can do like this then you can do like this now you can see a circle is complete now there is no quadrilateral it is a triangle so there is a button triangle you can see a check box a triangle is given just click it now uh, everything is a, a triangle and the three angles are shown 
in the same applet it was my dream uh, instead of making two two applets so one for quadrilateral angle sum and one for uh, triangle angle sum why don't we do it together so uh, my time was uh, with all these things and you can see that now what to do now only three angles are there ana uh, so green is there yellow is there and red is there so how to put together now sliders positions uh, positions are last and only so we will start from the last just bring it back very interesting you can see now yellow and green put together then you bring this also over a semi circle is formed means 180 degree angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees meanwhile may I ask you my screen viewable or not hello Visible, okay, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Visible, sir. Okay, okay. So just a restart. Then we can change like this. Or uh, we will call the student. Because you see that um, if you are uh, speaking and speaking and demonstrating and the students will be kept in a passive mode, that is not good. So we will involve them. In modern education, especially NEB, uh, everything is student only. We, our role is a side role only. So we will call the student, okay, you do it. Uh, once the teacher will demonstrate, then we will call uh, nearly five students, so then they will do it. They will come with much enthusiasm that I experience in my classrooms. Then you can do it like this. Then you can do it like this. Then you can do like this. Then you see circle is complete. And the triangle, it is no, uh, it is not a triangle. Because, uh, it is a triangle. It is not quadrilateral. It seems to be because due to the screen size. Okay, you can do it like this. Okay, okay, good. Then we will go to the next one. We are going one by one according to the time limit. Now 36 minutes uh, the time given to me. Then angle sum property in triangle you can see once again. It's only for triangle, but it is in a different approach. So I told you my um, means uh, subject specific tool that GeoGebra itself can do miracles for mathematics. We need not want any other software for mathematics. Every animation, everything, whatever the purpose we have, we have to uh, make the applet, we have to make the animate, animated content, we can do. Uh, so here you can see three points are there. They will be the vertices of a triangle. You can change it like this if you want. You can put it here. Much freedom is given. Suppose somewhere I have to fix, you know, so I am leaving it. Similarly, you can change this also. Uh, suppose I am putting it here and this also I am just, uh, okay, let it be there. Then what we have to do, just start animation. So in order to apply all these things, a teacher needn't have the mastery in GeoGebra. What happened, you can see, once again, it will come automatically. Teacher need not do anything. It's so fully automatic. You see first angle, second angle, all the three angles put together to get a semicircle and then you can see the animation like this. In between, you can change. Animation <laughs> will be continuing. That much powerful this is. You can see I am changing this thing. You see, I am changing in between. Nothing will happen. I can change this also. Once again, you please see. I will change this position where it is. Now you see. A red angle is there. I am placing it here. It knows where I am putting it. Once again, please. Just for interesting aspect of Jejora, you see, I am changing that position, but how does it know? So we have to inform our students that vector algebra we study. Students may not be that much interested to learn vector algebra, but here I am using vector algebra. That is why, suppose in between I am changing this position of the point. You can see once again, one minute. Okay, red game, then I am changing. See, blue, it will follow automatically. Why? Because it is controlling by vector algebra. So we have to convince our students that every mathematics portion, every mathematics concept is uh, powerful for making such things. If they want to become the software engineer, etc. in future, Max will help them like anything. 
because that much logical subject is mathematics. Okay, we will see uh, another one. Um, here in between, I will show you something really special that is Benny's tool. In GeoGebra, I didn't contribute anything to GeoGebra. Don't have the notion that. And here you can see one icon I added. Oh, that much powerful software, as I told you. Now, this is a little bit a high level GeoGebra application. Um, usually up to here only GeoGebra, this moving graphics. View. The last tool, you can see what is the name of the tool, please see. I will bring mouse over it, Benny tool. Don't you see? This is the point tool, this line tool, this perpendicular, this polygon tool, circle, that thing, this thing, this thing, and this move graphics view. And final one is a Benny tool. What does it bring? We can create a new tool so that we can utilize in our project in GeoGebra. So we can do that much uh, application with the GeoGebra. Now, how to perform it? Please click it. I have chosen Benny tool. The want to do instruction I didn't write. We can do the instruction also if you want to hear. Just click this point and click this point. Now you can see a triangle is there. Okay. Simply speaking, wherever I click this one like this, two points are there. Then click the Benny tool. Then click this point and click this point, you see a triangle is there. If I click another two points, then you can see another triangle. Then if I click like this, then you can see another. You can utilize this tool for, you know, which topic? That is spiral approach, you know, square root spiral. So we can utilize it like this. So once again, I will show you just n two everything or uh, have a new one don't save but i have to open it again because my tool is not there you see so don't save i will bring it once again listen please i am opening it to bra once again what is happening you see please my tool is there just uh, click it okay then click it here and click it here triangle is like this I don't want this style triangle. So I will click this and this. Oh my God. This is what we want. So where to click that also important here. First I click this point at the origin and then this point then triangle this way. Otherwise it will go down. Now this is a triangle with the one unit side and one unit, right angle triangle. Then this, you know, hypotenuse will be rooted to unit. And then again, that tool is in highlight position. Just to click at this point and at this point. Just to click at this point, this point. Just to click at this point. Now you see how fast we are drawing that square root to spiral. It's a really interesting now. So I am using my own created tool repeatedly. So that's why I'm using it like this. Means I am showing you how much powerful this software is. But how simply singing a song, the max teacher can do the square root spiral. Otherwise, how many clicks, how many perpendicular, that thing, we have to do it. And there is no restriction up to square root 19 or something. We can go, white is called spiral, that also very clear. I think my animation is very clear, isn't it? One of you, please respond. Is it clear now? Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Uh, so like this, we can continue. <laughs> there is no limitation. Our page only, our space only, the limitation. We can continue. Very simply, we can show it like this. The student will be very much eager to see. Oh, this sir, there is powerful. a query in chat box. Yeah, sir, yeah, please, yeah. can you repeat it, sir? Okay, yes, why sir. not? Why not? Why not? I can. I can. Someone is saying, uh, please give a practice on simple hands on activity. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, we will show only a few uh, simple one only, no? 
Do you want to see it once again? Somebody is asking, or shall I switch over yes, to something? Yes, spiral else? one, sir. Spiral. Spiral one. Once again, if you want to see, okay. But here you have to uh, make that uh, Benny tool. But uh, that I told you, this is a little bit uh, high-fi level. But I am showing you the advantage of uh, GeoGebra here. Okay, let it be there. Then just uh, click it. Then click at this point and this point. Then it is like this. Then we have to change it. You take this point and this point like this. So after getting two points anywhere, see two points are there. Then my tool will work. That's all. Then wherever you click, your triangle will be constructed like this. Then we are repeating the same process. That's all. But in order to apply it, you have to first of all make this tool. So that much advanced level you have to go. Okay. So we will go to the binary telegraph. Another simple application, common application. Now telegraph is not there. Telegraph is not there, but a mathematics people can do uh, telegraph with the five bulbs. Here you can see five bulbs are there. We are using binary digits, the soul of computer here. Here, suppose I do want to uh, make a particular letter. Suppose you can see the concerned letter here. Okay. 14th letter, 12th letter, or say this is a, a fourth letter now. Okay, fifth letter, whatever may be. I want to convey the fifth letter, means a five is written as a here, one, zero, one. That's a binary digit. Then you just click it. This side, the left hand side is a sender portion and the right hand side is a receiver portion. Then just click one means on. So you have to switch on. This is a button, just click it. Now you need not open this one. Just click this one. Now you can see E conveyed. That you understand 101 is there. So they can come back to decimal form five means fifth letter I send in the message. So once again, please, suppose I am sending the last letter, reset, please. The last letter, 26th letter I am showing. Then how to do zero? I need not switch on. One, I have to switch on. Then one, I have to switch on. Then one, I have to switch on. Then you can see 26. That end, the message reached, 26th letter is coming, means this bulb position showing the 26th letter like this. So GeoGebra means we can utilize it to, to any level. Now let us go to simple application. Many are there, mixed are there actually. Okay, here you can see that uh, um, uh, real numbers, classification of real numbers. We will call the student as uh, 22 by seven. We can drag it to this irrational number. So you can see the present position wrong, 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 wrong. Everything is wrong position. So we have to make the correct position. So the student can drag the thing to this circle. Now again, it is wrong. So it is not a irrational number. That's very clear. So take it to a rational number. Then what happens? Rational number is it 22 perfect answer. You see the answer changed it to perfect. So that's over. Now you can see here it is a zero. So we will bring to here. Now what happened? Again, the zero wrong information is there. At percent of places wrong. But when I drag to here, then information changed to true, but better position possible. Means it is a, uh, what we can say, rational number, but a better position possible. So we will go inside. Means integer. Again, the message is there, true, but better position is uh, possible. Then drag it again to this one, call number. Then the answer came, perfect. Then suppose I am pulling it again to natural number, it is wrong. Zero is not a natural number. You see how interestingly we can demonstrate the things. Uh, means just to drag it as you like, wherever you bring it like this. Once again, please see, I will drag it to here. Then it is a rational number, but better position possible means we will bring it to here, then same comment only, then bring to here whole numbers, then bring to here, 
then what happened perfect no no it is wrong so we will go back perfect then similarly root 9 root 9 student may think that it is our square root means irrational sorry square root 9 wrong it is showing so student will take to means this is a gamification way it is not ordinary we are teaching the student or root 9 is equal to 3 and then okay that definitely we have to convince them but uh, by playing and they can understand the concept in a, a very present mode that is the need of the era so we have to do that come for that then you see what i am doing i am bring it to here no nothing happened wrong command so here bring to here true but a better position possible then here same command only then bring it to here same command only bring it to here that is natural number perfect why root 9 natural that's very simple 3 no similarly root 2 we are bring here that is wrong 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 we failed everywhere so we will ultimately coming back to the another circle root it to a perfect like this okay thank you i hope it is very clear so similarly we can do the other cases also now we will go to continuity for a plus 2 that is related to syllabus only very simple application but you see in limit left hand limit right hand limit functional value okay everything is there but actually what is happening behind means the you can see that three branches are here for the function this is one branch this is another branch this is not. this is ncrt test book problem only i am visualizing the same uh, answer is there by limit this uh, uh, right hand side i have put it but here what the visualization we can have here three branches are there but uh, there is a breaking breaking means it is discontinuous not continuous so by changing this like this you can see that i am bringing it here now also break is there here is break here is break function is also say function says oh i am not continuous as there are two breaks function is speaking <laughs> then you can see that i will change it like this accordingly b value is changing finally you see when a is 2 and b is 1 the same obtained using limit to value left hand limit right hand limit the same value we reached you can see there is no break in the graph function becomes a continuous that is for plus 2 mathematics okay then a steer angle sum i told you this is a mixed level secondary in a secondary will come in between i am showing it one by one continuously because uh, not skipping okay now you can see this a triangle and there is a car also here we can change the vertices as you like then start animation now you can see the first angle 161 degrees the car is turning that much angle you can see now all the three angles are there here you can you have to take it like this you see that a plus b plus c 360 degree restart then change the triangle as you like in any form any any way you can drag then start animation means it is not a simple case we can show a variety of cases every time it will be correct then only student will come to know that oh it is true every time otherwise some adjustment they will think okay then it was very simple application uh, then gun point problem another plus 2 level question it is sir very simple only it is coming a jet of enemy is playing this ncrt test book problem only uh, then a soldier is placed there uh, the jet plane is uh, flying on this car it can be derived using computer technology nowadays uh, then uh, in the field a wireless connected uh, soldier is there then message will be given to him shoot then he will shoot we can see everything and we, which is the nearest point on this curve that's a question and by using calculus the right hand side complete steps are given 1 3 is the nearest point now how to see start animation the jet plane is coming somebody is asking any query please okay 
now you can see the jet plane is approaching uh, the soldier uh, the, oh. yes sir so participants are saying uh, please uh, show a simple activity of some of three angles is 180 degree okay okay okay, okay. yes sir means they don't want this level that's why i ask you know which level they want Maybe they want uh, simple activities uh, okay 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 yes okay. Sir. Uh, some of angles in a triangle so like this now you can see the three angles are there in another way this i think uh, third time i am showing but a different up uh, here three angles are there this time we are showing the angle sum in a very different way you can see a three copy of the triangle we are taking please see that a three copy of the triangle and then we are bringing it like this you see that is also another way when the students are learning congruent triangles we are making three copies um, means uh, two copies and the one given triangle so then we are doing it like this then angle a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degree Ma'am, they want to uh, have hands-on practice to make something yes, like Yes, sir. It. Yes, sir. They want hands-on practice. Okay. Means uh, yes, sir. Uh, one they more thing I will show. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Mm. One thing I will show you. That is a max cricket. A game gamification, as I told you. The rules are there. Here, the participant in AM, we can type in, say, Ramu, then Gobu like this. We will come to that. Uh, another 10 minutes are there. And here, say, Alan or something. Means what I want to show you, say, Albert. What I want to show you, uh, means a simple addition, integer addition, uh, can be put in the form of a game. And that is even cricket. Here, how to proceed a toss and start? Just to click that button, then automatically. This is the last uh, animation because I have many in my list. You can see here. Many are there only uh, halfway in between I am. <laughs> By, uh, remaining apps I am leaving because uh, as per your demand, I have to perform. Okay, okay. Um, you can see that. Yeah. Uh, now you can see that a throw uh, a button is there. So we are throwing one number shown, then hit the button is there, and throw button is there like this. Then one equation comes. Then student has to type in the correct answer. Means so sometime it will be negative and sometime positive. We can change the faces of the die here only. Uh, then it will be uh, complex. Then here. Addition of integers, subtraction of integers, student can practice like this. Then he will type in 6 plus 3, 9, minus 4, 5, just enter. Then the run, 5 run coach, like this. So similarly, it will be continued. So a simple addition of uh, integers, we can put it in the form of a game. Okay. Um, last one more point. Eh? I will show you. What to house? Option. Okay, here you can see after teaching the concept of coordinate geometry, very simple application, ninth or eighth class students. Then uh, here we have to show the path to her house. Uh, so here we have to type in the coordinates correctly here. Okay, say six two. coordinate one just enter it then the student is uh, jumping to that position then the next target will be given then typing the correct coordinates finally uh, this child will reach the home uh, so coordinate geometry a simple concept of coordinate geometry we can make in the form of a game like this okay now i will continue with the, some application uh, some uh, uh, hands sir, on practice oh, yes sir so we have on. some queries uh, ah. So please, uh, we have question like, uh, like uh, please explain transversal lines, and uh, also explain, yes, sir, and uh, also show the addition and subtraction of integers on using number line. So lots ah. of queries are there, yes, sir. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, 
uh, so here uh, in my collection now at present uh, which one which one once again please the uh, transversal lines and yeah transversal lines uh, we can yes. show like this it is there transversal lines here you can see that uh, two lines and one uh, intersecting line which is called a transversal and the uh, eight angles are there so all the eight angle just to click it all the angles we can show like this and these lines we can draw permission given like this we can draw we can drag like this any position then make us parallel there is a button just to click it the lines will be made parallel at any position suppose the lines are like this just to click that one then lines will be made parallel now what will happen uh, suppose the lines are like this i will bring it back okay now all the eight angles are there just to click the corresponding angles now you can see the position corresponding angles now another button is there drag to get a four pairs that is first pair this is a second pair this is the third pair this is the fourth pair so all the four pairs are there then just to click alternate angles in alternate angle there are two pairs one pair second pair like this. so this is simple animation we can utilize okay now even to make this one it will take nearly half an hour with all this settings a simple we can do yes, that sir, i will show yes, you sir we have uh, five minutes left sir sir all yeah, yeah. okay okay okay, okay. Uh, i will show you one simple application which you want we will put a uh, angle sum property of a triangle yes sir okay okay so just uh, we started the page i think it is visible okay then right click i don't want the access just remove it that much is clear i think along with me if you want you can practice okay very nice then go to the polygon tool just click it then click somewhere to make a triangle like this this is a triangle is it okay understood now go to the angle command just click it then click here here and here this is the first angle at present angle is there here is the first angle similarly you click the angle command click this button center point and this one this is the second angle you can see then again go to angle command then click here here and here then this is the third angle all the three angles automatically geogebra is showing now in order to make it more clear either you can go to here here everything is a little bit green color so click the right then object properties make it a red color fully red color like this okay then go to the second angle here also you can click or you so, go uh, to the algebra panel also you can do yes, just sir. to right ah so break out to is we close in 50 seconds hello Yes, sir. It's a breakout in fifty seconds. Fifty seconds. Means, yes, sir. We have uh, only fifty uh, seconds, more, sir. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. You see that it is there, and then color like this we can change. Now you see all the angles are there. Then we can change if you want. Hello. Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Okay, okay. 